The message is gospel in a nutshell. Yes, the gospel knows. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This verse has been called the gospel in a nutshell because it presents the internal central of the team of Christianity. It consists in five chest legs, living from God's love to our internal life. Number one, God's love. Number two, the gift of God's Son. Number three, Christ's exaltation on the cross. Number four, faith. Number five, eternal life. Let's ask some questions about John chapter 3, verse 16. God saw the world. Who? God. Which God? The God who gave his son. God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this God, what did he do? He gave love. No man love, but so loved the world. How so? By giving his only begotten son. Which came first? The loving are giving the loving what did this love involve it was the offering of sacrifice which alone could bridge the gap between god and man to accomplish that god became a man in the person of our lord jesus christ and jesus suffered the suppression from god the father which we deserve by becoming sin for us the infinite god paying the infinite price for the infinite mass Infinite sin against infinite God. We shall he give his only begotten son. How are you today? We shall he give his only begotten son. The one who was there with him in the council of eternity before the creation of the world. And through whom the world was made. In what way was it begun? By entire generation, there was no mother. Before Jesus became man, why did he give his son? Because he loved. What did he do for? That whosoever is in him should not perish or have everlasting life. So mankind is perishing without him, yes? What does a man, a woman, have to do in order to, order to perish? Believe. Believe in what? Believe in him, which is to put our trust in Jesus and only in him can revise our perishable state and give us eternal life. What happens if I do not believe? You perish. He that believe not is condemned already. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 18, if I do believe, you have eternal life. What is eternal life? It's a special life beginning right now and which continue for all eternity. Right relationship with God to the Son our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Although we are still subject to physical death, it is the guarantee of our place in heaven when we die. Not by in the sky when I die, but the fullness of life, of fellowship with God begins in this present time. What does the Bible mean when the Bible says, whosoever, we are friend, that is where our responsibility lies. Your business is to obey. The commandment is to believe. Otherwise, by refusing the gift of God's love, we make known the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on our behalf. And that is the gospel knows in a nutshell. The only way to have access to God, the Father, is only one answer by believing the Lord Jesus Christ, nothing more and nothing less. Unless you receive as a savior, you are not saved. You are seen that in your sins. The word of freedom for sin is to Christ Jesus alone. And all you have to do is to ask him to change your condition, and he will. If you turn from your ways and you follow his way, the Bible says, For God saw the word that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever is in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. That is the gospel news in a nutshell. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah.